Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and very happy you're again with us. This video was prepared to reveal to you what Compound is. Compound has recently become the largest lending protocol in decentralized finance. The introduction of its comp token on June 17 sent the cryptocurrency world into a frenzy as users rushed to deposit their assets and earn ungodly amounts of interest along with the daily rewards paid to comp for participating in the ecosystem as a lender or borrower. In this video, we'll tell you a few secrets that will be helpful to you. We'll leave you a link to buy comp below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. Let's start! Compound is a decentralized lending platform created by California-based Compound Labs in September 2018. Like many other protocols in DeFi, Compound is built in the Ethereum blockchain. Although Compound was originally centralized, the recent release of its management token, Comp, marks the first step in Compound's transformation into a community-driven, decentralized, autonomous organization. While the purpose of Compound has been articulated differently in many different places, the basic idea is this – to use your uncommitted cryptocurrency. The Compound protocol allows users to lend and borrow nine Ethereum-based assets, including the basic attention token, 0x, and wrapped BTC. Not only do platform users have the opportunity to earn crazy interest rates, but they also get rewarded in comp tokens for borrowing or lending cryptocurrency. Given the high price of the comp token, this opened the door for some level of DeFi gymnastics puzzle that allows users to increase their API to more than 100%. In the Compound protocol, users can deposit cryptocurrency as lenders or withdraw cryptocurrency as borrowers. Instead of lending directly to borrowers, lenders pool their assets into pools of assets from which users can borrow. There is a pool for each asset. Users can only borrow a dollar amount in cryptocurrency that is less than the collateral provided. The amount they can borrow depends on the liquidity and market capitalization of the collateral. When you lend cryptocurrency to Compound, you receive an amount of matching C token tokens, which usually far exceeds the amount of cryptocurrency you have deposited. The C tokens are ERC20 tokens that represent a portion of the underlying asset. For example, lending one day in credit it would give you almost 49 C die in a compound ratio. The C tokens exist to allow users to earn interest. Over time, users can purchase more of the underlying assets they deposited with the same fixed C token tokens they receive. Unlike traditional borrowing services, interest rates are not fixed or agreed upon the two parties involved in the transaction. Instead, the interest rate is determined by supply and demand and is constantly updated by a complex algorithm. The basic idea behind liquidity mining is to encourage both lenders and borrowers to use the Compound protocol. The reason is that failure to do so will lead to a gradual decline of the platform as lenders and borrowers gradually leave or switch to similar protocols in the DeFi space. To ensure consistently high levels of liquidity and participation, Compound rewards both lenders and borrowers with Comp tokens. This is done through a smart contract and Comp's reward for distribution is based on several factors, including the interest rates of the assets lending pool and the number of people interacting with the lending pool. The 2,880 Comp tokens are distributed daily, with half going to borrowers and the other half to lenders. Not only is the Comp token a carrot on the stick that motivates users to use Compound, but it also gives users control over the protocol. It allows users to talk about the future of Compound. It takes one Comp token to vote, and votes can be delegated to other users of the protocol without actually giving them the token. All proposals made in Compound consist of executable code. The user must have 1% of the total comp proposal available or delegated from other users to propose. Once submitted, there is a three-day voting period during which at least 400,000 votes must be cast. If the proposal is confirmed by more than 400,000 votes, a new change is introduced after the two-day waiting period. There was no initial coin offering for the comp token. Instead, nearly 60% of the 10 million tokens was allocated to investors, founders, current team members, future team members, and community development. Especially just under 2.4 million comp tokens were given to Compound Labs shareholders, just over 2.2 million were given to founders and the Compound team, just under 400,000 were saved for future team members, and just under 800,000 were given, allocated to community initiatives. 
it's worth noting that 2.2 million comp tokens given to compound founders and team members appear to be temporary and will be returned after four years. This is to provide a transition period where the founders and team can still manage the protocol through voting as it gradually becomes fully autonomous and community driven. While the philosophical reasons for DeFi's existence are well and good, what's making people rush to platforms like Compound right now is the ability to use smart contracts within and between the various DeFi protocols to generate incredibly high interest rates. This is known in the cryptocurrency community as crop farming and essentially involves a mind-boggling combination of borrowing, lending and trading that could put the Federal Reserve to shame. Income farming is extremely risk in many consider it a type of leverage trading. This is because it allows users to trade cryptocurrency amounts far above the base amount they have deposited. You can think of this as your pyramid turned financial pyramid. The whole structure depends on the asset which must either rise in value or stay the same or everything collapses. The specifics of how crop growing works depend primarily on the asset you're trying to accumulate. As far as compound is concerned, crop cultivation involves maximizing your return in comp tokens to participate in the ecosystem as both a lender and borrower. This effectively allows users to earn money by borrowing cryptocurrency from Compound. This is down through a platform called InstaDAP dashboard that allows you to interact with multiple DeFi apps from single point of reference. InstaDAP offers a feature called Maximize Comp Mining, which can give you more than 40 times the profit in comp tokens. In short, the dollar amount of comp tokens you get outweighs the dollar value of the interest you have to pay on the money you borrowed. Suppose you have 100 DAI, you deposit 100 DAI into the compound. Since compound allows you to use those funds even though they are blocked, you see that 100 DAI with the flash loan features in InstaDapt to borrow $200 from compound. You then convert the $200 to 200 DAI and return the 200 DAI to compound as a lender. Now you lend 300 DAI and owe 200. This gives you an income in comp which gives you an annual interest rate in dollars that can easily exceed 100% even with the interest rate you pay for borrowing the $200. You can buy comp on about a dozen exchanges including Coinbase Pro, Binance and Poloniex. Oddly enough, the Binance peers are not yet listed on CoinMarketCap but include BTC, USDT, BNB and BUSD. In aggregate, the 24-hour volume on Binance is at the level of Coinbase Pro. Total 24-hour volume is pretty low considering its market capitalization but if you want to get comp, there is absolutely no shortage of liquidity on Binance and Coinbase Pro at the moment. Since Comp is an ERC-20 token, it can be stored in almost any wallet that supports Ethereum. The list is long but includes wallets such as Exodus Wallet, Trust Wallet, Atomic Wallet, Ledger and Trezor, Physical Wallets and Browser-based wallets such as MetaMask. If you use Compound and don't intend to vote, be sure to transfer your accumulated Comp tokens to your wallet from time to time. Just keep in mind that you must have at least 0.001 Comp accumulated it if you want to withdraw it. Before Compound Maker, DAO was the most popular DeFi project on Ethereum. For those unfamiliar, MakerDAO also allows users to borrow cryptocurrency using Ethereum, BAT or VBDC as collateral. However, the cryptocurrency you can borrow is not just another Ethereum-based asset, but an ERC-20 standard stablecoin called DAY, which is soft linked to the US dollar. As with Compound, MarketDAO does not allow you to borrow the entire amount of Ethereum collateral you have deposited in DAI. Instead, you can only borrow 66.6% .6 of the dollar value of the Ethereum you deposited as collateral. This means that if you deposit $100 worth of Ethereum as collateral, you can withdraw approximately 66 DAI as a loan. Unlike Compound, this reserve ratio is not subjected to change and DAI is the only asset you can borrow on the platform. Both MarketDAO and Compound were used to harvest the farm. Ironically, Compound users borrowed DAI on MarketDAO to land in Compound when it had the highest interest rate. 
Market DAO also gives users the option to lock in their DAI in exchange for interest. Now, it happened that Compound overtook Market DAO so quickly, it's pretty easy to understand if you put the two protocols side by side. In addition to greater incentives to participate, Compound also supports significantly more assets for lending and borrowing. This gives it an advantage when it comes to growing crops, which may be the driving factor behind such DeFi protocols. Unlike many cryptocurrency projects, Compound doesn't have a roadmap. According to the CEO of Compound Labs and Corporation Robert Lashner, the connection was designed as an experiment. In the months that followed, Compound posted regular updates to Medium. The most recent post was earlier this month and its subtitle read as follows. Our major work on the Compound protocol is complete. It's time for the community to take ownership. Given that the development team seems to have successfully achieved the three goals outlined just over a year ago, it looks like Compound may be one of the few completed cryptocurrency projects. The future of Compound will be determined by its community. Based on the publicly available management offerings at Compound, most of it appears to involve adjustment to reserve and collateral factors for the assets supported. In short, reserve factors are a small portion of the interest paid by borrowers in loans that are set aside as liquidity caution in cause of low liquidity. The reserve factors is the percentage of collateral you can borrow as a borrower. It is also likely that more assets will be added to compound over time. So guys, thank you for your attention. I hope that you like this review. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and hope to see you back with us. Bye!